southwest of Warm Springs on Route 39, about half a mile downstream of the spot where the creek is crossed by 39, and about half a mile upstream of Blowing Springs Campground, a state-run campground. You'll put on about half a mile downstream of this bridge and run your shuttle by crossing the bridge and going left down this road to Lake Moomaw. When you finally reach Lake Moomaw, you'll turn left and go up the lake, finally crossing the lake just downstream where Big Back Creek joins the Jackson River the big parking area there where you can take out. This is the put-in point. Big Back Creek has one major obstacle to running, however. Most of it is controlled by the Boiling Springs Rod and Gun Club of Bakova, Virginia. And you have to get permission before you run this stream. Failure to do so can result in a lot of trouble. The club seems fairly friendly about giving permission to people to paddle. I have been checked twice when I've run it, however. One time the fellow was packing a pistol. I don't know whether he used it or not, but I'm sure he would have run us off if we hadn't had our permission slips. Of course, he probably would have had us arrested, actually. The Boiling Springs Rod and Gun Club has a lot of influential members. This is uh, done with about six inches of water on the gauge. Even though it's small, Big Back Creek can be caught with water more often than you'd think. It's downstream of the Vepco bath pump storage facility. And just how much they're able to control the flow of the stream is a little unclear. And whether they will control it or not is also unclear. That's the second obstacle after getting permission is getting water to run it. There's a truck going up Route 39. This is real close to the Blowing Spring campground, these little ledges here. Back Creek is a relatively easy stream with little ledges. You can see at six inches uh, the job is finding where the water is. Not all the ledges are little. This is the first big one after you've left the road. You can see it won't kill you. At higher water, it's a little easier to play in there. At low water, you can see it's kind of hard to get into it. That guy in a kayak, obviously, tries to avoid big monster holes. This trip was set up with the permission, of course, of the owners of Boiling Springs Rod and Gun Club. Float Fishermen of Virginia organize this trip every year. This is at the same time that the Highland County Maple Syrup Festival is going on in late March. The Roanoke chapter of the Float Fishermen of Virginia coordinate the trip, getting permission and getting names on permission slips. Johnny Eanes of Roanoke is the person in charge of setting it up. 
gets a lot of folks out on the river. Big Back Creek might not have any hair water on it, but it certainly has some beautiful scenery. Bald Eagle are native to Bath County. And a group of us thought we saw one once on Back Creek. This is the second ledge. You won't always find that guy sitting at the top telling you where to run. Little S turn in there, but it's kind of bony if you don't make it. Don't let the guy in the kayak fool you. He's not an expert on river reading. I had to point that out to him. Higher water, maybe you could make it through over there. Low water, it looks real scrapy. That's all right, it's not his boat. That is her boat. This is the next ledge down. That was the least bony, and that's where I ran, right off that wave. And off that's where I ran it that day. Undercut. Plenty of room to miss the undercut rock there. That's where most of the water goes, but it looks squirrely. Actually, it's a little bony and no matter where you're bony. running at six inches. Not enough water to the right of this one either. John over here, right. hey, There's one more little ledge downstream below this. It's not very big, though. And after that, you kind of flatten out. There. And actually hit the headwaters of Lake Moomaw at the same time you join the Jackson River. The Richardson Gorge on the Jackson River might be a little run you'd want to set up also, putting upstream about two miles and taking out at the same spot that you do this run here. Again.
again, you have to get permission from the Boiling Springs Rod and Gun Club. That looks like the concession canoe. Uh-oh. Kind of a slow roll, and I put the camera down to help him. You're in more danger of falling out and breaking your arm at that level than you are drowning. Get that hole over there, Tim. Didn't even get a feather wet. Oh, another one makes it alive. Face up there would spook anybody. I don't know how these guys are managing. Now that's a face that would spook somebody. How do people like that make it down a river alive? That boat gets out once a year, whether it needs to or not. Apple cider, that is. Just put your paddle out and brace. That'll do it. Brace and slide. Little Johnny E.
Here's a good way to clear out an eddy. When you're the last boat and you want that eddy and everybody else is hogging it, just take it away from them. Don't let them get you down. This is where we camp on our big back creek trips. This is over near Williamsville, what's called the Wallace Track. On the Cal Pasture River. You might get a hold of the float fishermen of Virginia and get wired up to this trip. If you paddle all winter, it's one of the last winter trips you'll make. If you're a warm weather paddler, it's the first trip you'll make. This is where the big droppers of the float fishermen of Virginia camp during the Back Creek trip. You run into a lot of strange looking characters, a lot of rough looking characters. It's a great place to camp. This is only about 25 miles from the put in for Goshen Pass on the Maury River. And the chances are pretty good you'll get away and do that too if there's been water on the bull pasture, which is only about two miles away, or Back Creek, which is only about 20 miles away. A lot of antics, a lot of cutting up, a lot of good eating go on, and even uh, occasionally uh, a little sip on the bottle. Cal Pasture River is across the field there before you get to the mountains. If you're a more sedate paddler, you might camp over on that particular area with the more conservative branch. All right, fishing. who's getting the fire tonight? <laughs> Dinner's in the fire tonight. Nobody's getting in this one yet. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, what do we got here? What are we cooking here tonight? We have uh, dove breast. Doug breast. Doug Brett, boy, you couldn't eat that much meat. <laughs> Nobody can eat that much ice cream. Yeah. Well, Doug, tell us about uh, slightly what the I bottom get a of the Jackson. Right. What's the Jackson Riverbed look like? <laughs> Very rocky. <laughs> he couldn't see too much because he couldn't get his eyes under because his nose was keeping rough. Oh yeah. <laughs> My buddy left. He, he would have done all right, but when he when he went over the ledge, his nose hooked a rock. That's what kept him from rolling. And that's what turned him over. Oh. <laughs> oh, what, ten minutes? If huh? anybody can figure minutes, out how to roll minutes, with yeah. two inches of okay, water, good luck. You know. Boat was here and I was here. <laughs> Man, same reason you could push off the box. Get showered. Now, what, what is that you got? What are those little tasty tenderloins there? Those, tell them. Tell them. They look like mountain Eugene. oysters. Those are dove breasts. Eugene, tell him the truth. You weren't yeah. damn drunk enough to fall on the fire for him. Right. Last night. <laughs> right. I missed Did it. you all? It, it was looks just like you all. Theatrics. Looks like you all stopped and nutted a couple of them sheep on the way back. <laughs> it does look that way, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You want one? Uh, no. <laughs> <they're ready. laughs> yeah, I'm trying to quit. Oh. That cob was talking. Yeah, that looks real good. Are you sure you can't get a picture of the cobbler, Glenn? <laughs> Glenn, Glenn is, the a shoe, is a shoe man Glenn around here? His nuts on the hoop. <laughs> you like them on your chin. So can you get a picture of that in there, enough light reflecting out of that oven? So you can get the yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I... Maybe I, you can get a picture of the cornbread, too. Getting there. <laughs> I thought that's what... What's on the cornbread there, Eugene? You mean for the camera? Yeah, yeah show, show the camera the cornbread. There's the cornbread. Oh. The top of it. Ooh. Ooh, you got some butter, got some greens to go with that cornbread? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got, we got beet greens right here. Beet greens? Beet greens. In the pan. Oh, thanks, Carlos. There's some watercress down here to take out on the bull pasture. Did you all get down and get some of that good stuff? Oh, yeah, we got some of those. They flew away a long time ago. Well, trim that soft, Eugene. Lay them up there. Dove breasts. What'd you do? Just just go down to uh, this way What's it called? Uh, what's it? Monument Avenue? We just kill a bunch of pigeons? No, we were down there with, with some gravels and knocking these out of the trees. Yeah. While y'all were running the shuttle. Oh. Uh.
that's just some of the nonsense that goes on around our campfires. I'm sure it's probably very different from everybody else's. Just a little diversion, if you're still with us and haven't been bored yet. 